show a little more excitement for, for you? And, uh... Uh, yeah, I did. I think once I got to four miles and I was like, it's really hot. Um, you know, it's like open. And I mean, the crowd was amazing. And that's really what got me going. And I was just like, I just had to keep pushing. I looked back a couple of times. Because, you know, when you're racing, you're just like, okay, who's coming? And I wasn't really worried so much about the 5,000. But it was more like, I want to get the win, and then I knew, and I know, you know, Sarah is really tough, she can always come back, and uh, so I just, like, I kept pushing, pushing, it was hard, it was hot, that uphill. Once I get to the finish line, I saw the time was pretty decent, it was still in 36.40s, and then I knew last year he ran pretty quick, but I didn't think he would be able to run 31.40s, so I was like, okay, maybe I'm already getting it, and some people started saying, you got it, they're all the way back there, I was like, oh my god, and I see 10 seconds. And I see them flying down, but you know, it's nice, he deserves it, and I hope he's okay, he's in a medical tent. Diane, you uh, were second at Beach to Beacon, you led most of the way there and kind of got out kicked. Um, was that at all in your mind today, and uh, how does it feel to lead step for step and um, it, it feels good that I was able to like, at the first mile I was kind of like, I went and I realized they weren't coming, but then I knew Emmy and Emmy is a, such a Emmy and Sarah are such a good like competitors like they like to just get in and push and that's what I love because you know you don't want to sit it on somebody's you know you know just run behind somebody for a, a, a day like this bitch the beacon was hot so it was like you know after one mile second mile I felt good with the control but it's in like in a shade so it's much easier and once we get in the open and I was all by myself and I just like I just had to keep pushing pushing using my marathon strength and I was like it's not gonna happen today no way that's why I looked back because this weekend I looked back more but this time I was like I just have to go and I just felt strong the whole way it just was it was a bit too hot. I was worried. I was like, I don't want to pass out one mile to go, even though I think I have it. So, yeah, but I was not going to, I mean, I was really determined today. I was like, I don't care who comes. I'm going to just give everything I have, whether I have to lead or not. I'm not going to hesitate because last time I was hesitating. I was. I didn't feel comfortable being in the front. So. How did it feel to finally win? You've been close to you. You've been close to Beach Week, and now you finally got the victory. It feels great. And the last four years, I mean, I've been... I've been second four years ago. Bitch to Beacon, I was second, uh, two seconds from second, like fourth a couple years ago. And it was like second, third, second, third. I won a little races, but it's really nice. This is one of the best races. I mean, you can't find anything better than this. You can bring so many people. And also, it's not even about your competitors, it's the heat. It's the, 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 uh, the, the, the course, it's really tough. And, but it feels amazing. I'm so excited, and um, I can't wait to like come back and just mix it up, and hopefully, eventually win Beach the Bacon and Peace Tree, all those big races. I mean, I'm heading in the right direction. I'm pretty excited. What's next for you? Do you have any? Ah, no. I'm, I don't. I can't say it yet, but I have a full marathon. Yeah. yeah. So you win. Thank you.